Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to create a complex JSX element. Uh, the last challenge was a simple example of JSX, but JSX can represent more complex HTML as well. One important thing to know about nested JSX is that it must return a single element. This one parent element would wrap all other levels of nested elements. For example, several JSX elements written as siblings with no parent wrapper element will not transpile. Here's an example. We have valid JSX and invalid JSX. So what they're saying is because this is three separate elements and this is one element with three child nodes. And it's saying this is a valid one because this is it passes in a single element, whereas this passes in three elements. So we want to define a new constant JSX that renders a div which contains the following elements in order. So we want to define a constant, right? So uh, const JSX, and we want it to render a div element uh, with the following elements, an h1 element, and a p element, and an unordered list, unordered list. So UL that contains three list items, right? So there's one, two, three. And then we need to keep our uh, spacing um, done properly. And so there we go. Okay, so this you can see actually it's rendering the list items here. Uh, we want to note when rendering multiple elements like this, you can wrap them all in parentheses, but it's not strictly required. Also notice this challenge uses a div tag to wrap all the child elements within a single parent element. If you remove the div, the JSX will no longer transpile. Why? Because if you removed the div, you wouldn't... This, if you remove the div, you would have one, two, three elements, and JSX requires that we pass in one element, so the div is required. Keep in mind, keep this in mind since it will also apply when you return JSX elements in React components. Um, yeah, I think if I run the test, you'll see it passes right now. So this is actually all you need to do. So maybe this would be like uh, JSX practice. Uh, here is a checklist of JSX um, understanding, uh, JSX um, things we will learn. And this could be um, scope, you know, um, reusability, and um, design. I'm just making this up. All this stuff is unimportant, but the bas basic idea here is that we're passing in a single element. I mean, and then uh, they say that you can wrap it in parentheses as well. So you could do it like this, I believe. If you were to run the test, that passes as well. So that's what they're saying when they're saying that you can pass in that. Um, if I were actually writing this, I would probably do it like this and then write it all in line here and then uh, keep it extended here. And that makes it so now it actually indent the paragraph elements as well. And so this to me would be easier code to read than um, what we had previously. Um, yeah, I don't know if you were, does the spacing matter in JSX? It looks like the spacing doesn't matter as well. Um, this, uh, I actually kind of like the idea of having it wrapped in parentheses because uh, it kind of gives you a context for the, the, the code. I think it just makes it look a little cleaner. Um, but yeah, I don't write a lot of JSX stuff, so this is uh, going to be a lot of, of kind of new stuff to me. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.